joining us at home. My name is Blessing. I'm your agricultural science teacher. The last time we were in this class, we talked about farm structure and farm building. Today, we are going to be continuing from where we stopped. If you notice the last time in class, we defined farm structure. We said farm structure is anything that is built on the farm to enhance farm work and also to make production easier. We talked about two types of farm structure. We talked about, we talked about storage structure. We talked about utility structure. But in the course of this lesson today, we are going to be looking at production structure, processing structure. So think in your mind from the word production. What is production structure? Production structures are structures that are used to enhance what on the farm. Examples of production structure that we have here, we have fish pond. Fish pond is a circular rectangular farm structure that is used to produce what? Fish. Another of production structure that we have, we have paddocks. Paddocks are small field on the farm planted with grass and legumes for grazing animals. It is usually fenced round to control the um, movement of animals so that animal doesn't just move around the farm, but yet they are kept in a particular place and they can graze in a particular place where they are being kept. Nurseries is also one of production structures. Nurseries, from that word nursery. Word nursery means that there are plants that must be kept in the nursery before taken to the farm sites. These plants must go through this process because certain times they require less sunlight. Certain times they require more of water. So without nurseries, some plants cannot grow on their own in the field. Another one, we have rabbit orchards. Rabbit orchards are made of structures that are of wood, wire, netted, used for rearing rabbits. So for you to rear rabbits, you need a rabbit arch. With a rabbit arch, yes, you are good to go because you, might, you provide uh, places for ventilation, you provide places for where the animal can rest, you provide places where the animal can come out and take some fresh hair so that the animal gets the right nutrients from the, from the environment the animal finds himself. Battery cages are also examples of production structure. These are cages made of galvanized iron or wire used for rearing poultry and layers. Battery cages can be used to even rear animals like broilers, even layers also. Battery cages can be used for this purpose. Product, processing structure is another farm structure that we have. And under processing structures, we have things like you can use to process your already made products. What do we mean? Example of processing structures are feed mills. These are structures used mainly in large farms to produce feed for livestock. So feed that you need to feed your animals. You need a present structure to do that. Another one of present structure we have Compost pit is a pit that is dug in the farm. It's um, where compost manure can both be prepared. Meaning that for you to prepare compost manure, you don't just prepare anywhere. You must make a particular section where anytime you need manure, you always do what? You always go there to process them for the animal to feed on. Slaughter slab is also one of processing structure. Slaughter slab like abatures, I'm sure in your locality. You can find where animals are slaughtered before being taken to the market for sale. Do you know that that place is called Abatio? I'm sure with the course of this lesson, you'll find out that that place is not a slab or Abatio. It's called a place where they kill animals before taking them to the main market. So whatever produce you get from the farm, you have to process them into the proper way for you to be able to what? Either sell or eat them. And one of them, like we said, it's abiatio that can be found in many localities. Silage pit is also one of processing structure. Silage, from that word silage. I know you've heard of that word before. What comes to your mind is silage? Mm. They might be what? Forages or silage that you can process for the animal to what? To feed on. So silage pit is used for processing these forages. Because without silage pit, you can't process forages to, be, to the environment. You, you, the environment will be smelling up and down. So you have a particular spot 
you use for this purpose and must be found in the farm because it is found where humans are living it can be the odor can be very offensive so you should make sure you get a silage before you process your silage and what feed them to your livestock when it is ready farm building remember we just talked about two of processing farm structures which are production structures and processing structures but the buildings where other activities are taking place what is it called from the word farm building meaning that is a building or the permanent building that is more defined that is more refined that's maybe used for more than one purposes what purposes you might say one of the purposes is what permanent farm buildings these are they might be used as stores to keep tools but first of all what are permanent farm buildings meaning the building you can't move away from it can be your house it's, it's not a building you can move from one place to another because it's made of expensive material such as brick, corrugate iron, concrete. Permanent farm buildings include the following. Let's look at them together. One of them is stores. Stores are permanent buildings. These are farm buildings where farm tools, farm product, produce, empty sacks, and farm fields are stored. So whatever tools you are using in your farm, you must have a place you keep them. And that place is called what? Stores. Livestock houses are also permanent farm buildings. I'm sure you might have one in your backyard. Maybe your mom, your dad, your guardian is wearing poultry. And every time, maybe after wearing for the first six months, that's your guardian or your parents sell off the chicken or they use them as meal at home. But after a while, they, they sanitize the place and also introduce more beds. Now, if they do this, that house that that's your parent or your guardian is into a rare animal is called what? It is called livestock houses. So these are houses where farm animals are kept. Examples, maybe you have pig in your farm, maybe you have chicken, you have broilers, even, even your sheep, your goats. Here yeah, they are permanently kept, are called what? Livestock houses. Yes, another one of farm buildings is security posts. Your mind comes, ah, it's not a living place. Why do you need a security post? Security post is needed especially when your farm building is, or your farm is far away from your house. If you don't have a security post, you can expose your livestock that you have in the farm to what? To thieves that can easily jump in. The thieves might be human, the thief might be animal. So it's very important to have a small building usually located at the entrance to the farm housing for security men to live in there and also what? Take care of your farm produce or take care of the farm tools that you find in the farm. Another of this, we have your farm office. It's important not sure for your, all your tools you have in the farm to be scattered. The tools you have in the farm should be kept in a particular place for what? For easy access. Farm office is used for the administration of the farm and accommodates all categories of staff. For example, you have farms that you have workers that takes bookkeeping, that take how many stock comes in, that takes how many animals died in a day, that take how many eggs that are laid. It's very important to keep proper record. So for you to keep proper record of your farm, you need a what? You need a farm office where all your workers who are taking stock of this farm are doing what? Are staying or comes when they, or stays when they come in the morning. Utility structure is another one of farm building. Very, very important. Utility structure takes care of all the tools that you have on the farm. These tools you have on the farm, they need a particular place to stay. Because if they don't, you find it difficult, maybe you want to do certain work in your farm, you'll be looking for your tools everywhere. So you see structures are farm structures that are consisted with blocks, metals, to perform certain farm functions like commodity storage, what you produce for, for the year, how do you store them? Do you just go keep them by the backyards and rodents and rain, weather, harsh weather destroys them? No, that's why you need utility structures to keep these goods in place so that when it's ready for sale, they can be taken to the market. Now, viewers at home, let me ask you this question. We've talked about production structure. We also talked about present structure. I'm sure you're thinking about it now. What is production structure? Hmm, think in your own little understanding. What do you think production structure is? I'm sure you're thinking already. I'm sure you're giving yourself the answers. That might be a structure that we use to produce anything that you decide to farm in a particular year. 
and what processing structure whatever goods you've gotten at the end of the day for example your animal has gotten to maturity you decide you want to sell them what do you do you take them to abattoir for them to be what to be killed that's an example of the present structure but don't go away yet i have a question for you which is describe utility structures precisely farm office how you describe farm office what's going on in your mind your tools you keep there your sacks please write it down in the small notes i'll see you same time next week or next time stay safe thank you Thank you.